It ain't about a movement, it's about a way of life. In every culture, you got dance, you got music, and you got art. Cellophane wrapped in the black nightmare of the endless factory. My soul squeezed in the hydraulic press of eternal drip, drip, drip. What's the point? Chicago is groundbreaking. Record companies are coming from all over realizing that this is a mecca of talent. To start changing, tricky as a victim or a victim on a harness. Let's not forget, who can sue the who's the artist? We don't know it's sweet. Back in the days, you used to have uh, blue gargoyle, steps used to rock parties, and... You know, a lot of old schoolers was there, like writers, and, you know, but I think Peely Fresh, he used to be the DJ up there at, at that party uh, called Steps. And they had they used to have it every Sunday in the uh, afternoon, late time afternoon, something like that. And, and, and they said, you know, it was going on for a couple of months until, you know, a lot of the writers just start, you know, messing it up as far as tagging in the building and stuff. I remember paying dudes going to places like Janelle's and... <laughs> I don't remember, man. I'm going crazy. And the steps and... Steps? Oh, and shit. Yeah. Talk about steps. Huh? Talk about steps. What was going on shit. steps? I mean, steps was like the first real hip-hop place in Chicago, like... Like, motherfuckers in New York had the Latin quarters and shit, and shot we had steps and shit. We came up with this place called Two two Wall Spots. One was the Wall of Sin, and the other was the Wall of Fame. And those those occurred right around 86, 87. And a lot of, we used to have a lot of means there and just hang out, you know, piecing and rapping and stuff like that. <laughs> Motherfuckers was like, you know, just acting stupid, going out hip-hopping and shit, and that was real. PJ used to do some stuff, uh, Black Fist over at uh, uh, Bedrock. What they did was kind of sporadic, but still as real as you can get. A lot of brothers didn't know about it, and it was still like, there was no unity until like we came along, we started Live the Lounge in 91, and 92 we were at Lower Links, and that's when it really took off. there you'd ride the trains a lot and look at the pieces and you'd meet graffiti writers all the time on the trains mm -hmm. and it was like I mean there's nothing else like it in, in the city where people just meet each other mm -hmm. because of you know in 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 a, in a random place you know because of this common interest how many minutes was that I don't know like what 
mushrooms. Huh? Let's see, I, I come to learn one thing that it ain't for everybody, you know. So back then I couldn't understand that because it was so fresh. And I was like, anybody that get in this should be in it forever. You know, you, you don't suppose to stop, you know, even though a lot of writers was like, you know, when you get 21, 20, you, you're too old to be painting then, you know, you got to stop because you can go to jail and all this and that. You know, anybody know when they first get into it that it's illegal, you know, especially doing it on the trains and stuff. So you just got to take that risk, you know, and, and, it, and it's like make up in your mind. If you're going to be caught, be a man about it, you know. A bunch of real motherfuckers flexing skills literally trying to push Chicago on the map. No matter how many people come out and shout, we still won't be considered a hip hop city because of house music. The hip hop died at 80, late 88, 89 to 90. That's when hip-hop died. When De La Soul came on, that was that stupid shit, because hip-hop was always hardcore when it first started, and people was just tired of everybody being hardcore, because they drawing off that Stop the Violence old peace symbol shit. So on that house shit, you know, that shit, don't you remember, Preppy and, and all that shit? And what fucked that up was them niggas folly them, because the only radio stations we really had to listen to before HBK time, or maybe through that time, but what everybody was digging was shit like BMX and folly a mix, shit like, you know, uh, Renegades of Funk and, and Pop goes my love they'll mix that shit with a couple of house records and call it preppy you know what i'm saying that shit was whack and if it wasn't for us in chicago the old schoolers in chicago keeping hip-hop going on in chicago while we was fighting motherfucking opposition the whole process these motherfuckers wouldn't be able to come here and do a show they would not be able to get paid they would not sell records i remember the real lean days when you know we didn't have any outlet demo tapes were almost a waste of time because you never no response, and he kept us as consumers. And this is Levittown. Here you can own your own home, complete with its own refrigerator, television set, and clothes dryer. You can raise your children far from the city's dirt, crowding and crime, in comfort and safety. The Vic, I think the Vic had a lot of old schoolers there. People I haven't seen since since fifth grade. People were just getting into hip hop. And um, it was a pretty good crowd, but I think that it was, you had to have some headliners there. If you're like an unknown, you either gotta be like stripping or something to get their attention. But you know, some people did good. Like children, and I, they did pretty good. West Coast think that up here is our house. You know, people like Fast Eddie, 
and all those marks came out. They were yeah. like, uh, th that's all they are. It's house and shit, you know. Big, but be on the lookout it's though, for a big, big, it's, big fest. It's in Chicago. The hip, like the hip hop nation, is big. It's just not very visible because everything's underground. Much like this tonight, you know, only people that are really down with hip hop would know about this show, you know. So it's underground. I hate to say this, but it's a lot of like ignorance in this city about like. For one, about hip hop culture and how you're supposed to feel about it, you know. You're supposed to be, you know, I feel like you should be, you know, proud to be a part of something like this, you know, and, and be proud to be around in a time when it, like, it developed, you know. You know, it's like people need to appreciate other things in, like, the hard form. Like what? I don't know, like, uh, the politics of this city. My tongue gets loose and it gets tight, but I get the microphone like I had a fight last night. I knocked a nigga out real quick, then I split his gut, so what the fuck is up? I'm killing MCs in about two minutes. I'm in it. Grab the microphone, then I spin it like a turntable, because I'm able, I'm stable, just like a rock, I won't pop. I don't know if y'all know, but this guy named K-Light, he was from New York. He came to Chicago, and he it was in 87 when he came, and he, he had a, a citywide meeting down there. And he was like, yo, I'm from New York, the South Bronx and stuff. And he was like, he's like, what's up with Chicago? He said, why come it's, it's, it's so quiet and soft out here? He's like, I don't see no pieces on the trains. He's like, you know, ain't no parties out here, about too much parties going on. He's like, what's up with y'all MCs? You know, I don't hear nobody rocking the rhymes on the corners or none of it, you know. He's back home, we have parties every week, you know, we go bum rushing at art stores, getting painted and markers and all that shit, you know. And he was hyping all of us up, you know, right after that day, you know, right after we had that meeting, that's exactly what everybody did. Motherfuckers went bombing and shit, backing at the paint stores and everything, you know. But now, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know, you got Shy Rock Nation, CRN, you know what I'm saying? Brothers still down by law. Chapter 1 and 2 is the old school crew, crew, you know what I'm saying? You know, Chapter 1 was like mostly the original and shit, except for a couple of members. Chapter 2 was like the second generation. You know, that's when I got down with my nigga artistic, you know what I'm saying? Invasive and shit, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you know, JVC now was like the originals, you know? And now it's like, now everybody, you know, down with Shy Rock, you know, I respect that since that was one of the old school crews that lasted to now. You know, that's kind of dope, because it's like when you represent in the United States or whatever, motherfuckers going to be like Shy Rock. Next up is my man D. Kick it, kick it, D. Kick it, D. Freestyle, freestyle. I'm living large. large. Devils better duck and dodge. How could you rearrange? Dug the range, running games the same. Never lame because I'm busting caps like I'm busting raps. I'm in charge, so make no motherfuckers busting black. I pump the black fist while other suckers need practice. I never lack this, even though I flame a fat spliff. Since 83 niggas been gay to me, mob action is hardcore. That's the way to be. You will never. Never see the your kingdom rock standing on your block, serving packs of rocks. But this that you see me cocking clocks. Uh, I'm ready for war, nigga. You know the score. Zero to 24. Extra crew, do they want some Yo, more? Or oh, we could take it to the streets to make this shit complete. Taxing that that was the meaning of my action. Now check me, yo, they break tennis in my head what's in the wild when it's raining. Yo, my house is painting, I ain't like right, though. But I got my flow in the finger, 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 be pointing, pointing, for pointing. Don't you know, here goes the joint and joint that I don't need to be smoking. Cause you know, I get fat by such and I be yoking. Bros, get a gang with the bulls that I be kicking with symbols. Don't you know, the beat a man that comes off, yo, so check me, flow. That's what I do, B E S D, from the East Coast, West, yeah. West gets from G. Cause everybody, it's all about you, the you, the unity. So every, everybody, come see me, yo, close in a man. Got the camcorder, no, you know what be the man I can't afford a new home, so I got the move to a new place, cause my villa, he was the man stealing all my dope. So now my man lords want me to flow to another good, but I be running to with bros and hope be coming to school, but I got more still flows. But I tap my foot on like Gregory Hines, and I pour that motherfucker on my fucking fries. Cause you know that be the catch up, but you can catch up, but I rip shit up. And no, you know your rounds is but sluts, that's what I be bagging. But my big pants be sagging, no, you know I be the man to catch it lagging. Cause too fast, I kick that ass up. You know what blast with the clock? Pop, pop, pop goes the way the boy who's 
that diesel. If you'll just slow down the rush and pressure of your feelings a little, then judgment has a better chance to take hold and guide you away from wrong behavior. position of being able to work with young black entrepreneurs like myself for a common goal and that's the expansion of hip hop and getting paid a little bit. That's really what I do. Oh, for those who ain't up on the flavor, this is a new generation sort of thing. We're proud. It's me, it's this man, it's you, those brothers in there. We all do it from the street level up. There's no financing here on anybody's shit. That's why it's go. It's from here. Something definitely happening with hip hop in Chicago with that lower links when it first started over there. And then from there it just amounted to doing our sweatshirts, Chicago hip hop, and then it just traveled on to there to this. Um, based on our trip that we made in February to the East Coast in DC and in New York, Chicago was well received because we're in the initial stages that they were in, what, 15 years ago? You know, way back in the day. And it's a refreshing thing to them. Hip hop in New York and LA is, is a defined and respected industry. Whereas if you tell somebody in this town, you know, you're into hip hop, we got this hip hop newspaper, or I'm a rhymer, I'm a producer, they're like, mm, whatever, you know. As far as when I say built a place, every nail, screw, wire, uh, piece of wood, everything in it, we built, we built these doors anyway. Quite a lot, obviously, you know what I'm saying? It's like a little dressing room to come try out your, your outfits. These my boys from 3XD over here. That's these iron right there throwing up a little piece. These some other little heads over here on this side. 3XD sign comes, you know, they came through with a set us out of We get all these presents, man. We get all the presents, you know what I'm saying? presents. It's just a conviction, and then, you know, we help each other to get it done, man. And that just, no kid can ever say, you know, you had the spoon in your mouth. You know, you had it easy. I can say, look, you work hard, and you hang with the right people, you get the right influence, you can do this, you can do it. Find the will, and the way will come. Yeah. One, two, three, kick it. I'm flipping like an acrobat, watch the wreck go splat on the ground, it's the sound pounds out my crib, never did a bit, but made a vow to be a real MC. No game show, I had to let them see straight, ill stakes, so don't tempt me. But some of the baddest motherfuckers, then we'll leave your crib empty. So get off the end. Pick and then a real beat freak to hook it up, hip hop, look it up, uh, and then break the definition a hundred times, and maybe after that you might pick up some funky lines, baby bubba, I'll make you move your bows when I'm blasting, I'm not your average cracker, I'm an ill state assassin, uh, word plain and simple, don't step if you're whack, cause you wind up on your back, when I beat you with my bat in the lunchroom, uh, I'm on videotape in the lunchroom, that's how it used to be, nigga, in the lunchroom, when we was at dumb bar. Back in the days, we were shorties in the future. Yo, cuzzle rock. It's a daily routine for niggas to flex skills in the lunchroom. It's hot new, so open the circle. Give me my yellow room. Since I'm a mighty man, I'm considered the mightiest. Living fat like Chubby Checker, but I'm not gonna twist it. Riot plays a way to wait. Beating on the table. Bitches grind around like horses at dinner time. Running out the stables. Then the Sadiddy ho. The thought of never making new. I want to get in that funk box when it came to funk and you fake it. Now you got the vapors, bitch, but I'm not bitch. Marky. Now you like the dog without the bones, so uh, fast sparky. Uh, or, who goes there? It's Kingdom Cold like the Simba telling all oh, your girls you did me, but my name ain't Mike, so I don't remember. Now I got to chill, making bills, flexing skill. Phony motherfuckers makes me sick, but I'm ill. And now when my mad fucks can pull with like Paul Lawrence Dunbar, you can get the nothing fucking good bar. Not claiming to be a star, but my shot is so coming out. Some niggas, there goes the bell, give me my milk and I'm out. Thank you. 